Hey guys, Mix Temple Pro for Ableton Live is out now and my colleague and mastering engineer Nick will now guide you through the features of Mix Temple Pro for Ableton Live. All right, so first thing is the template. The template contains a bunch of audio tracks we already set up for you that are the most common ones. Like for example, we set up a group for drums with different kicks, snares, overheads, even some parallel buses for your drums. And then we move down the line. Uh, we have some basses, some guitars, keyboards, orchestra, all kinds of stuff. And obviously uh, lead vocals and backing vocals are already in place, mono backing vocals and stereo backing vocals. So this is all that you don't have to add manually all the tracks, but you can just drag in the audio files and start mixing. Then these tracks get summed down to three different mix buses. And this is a very clever technique using different buses for different uh, groups of instruments. So we have a drum bus for the drums, an instruments bus and a vocal bus. And this allows you to process your drums a little bit differently than your vocals or your instruments. And these three buses then get further summed down to the master where you do your final processing. Another key feature of the template is our effect routing. So as you know, you can use the sense of a channel to send to a bus here on the right. For example, our lead vocal needs some reverb. Obviously, we set up some reverbs and I'll show you exactly how we did it. So I sent to bus A, which is our lead vocal reverb, and this lead vocal reverb comes back on three different channels. This allows me to now select what I want to do with the reverb. I have a plate reverb, a room reverb, and a concert hall style reverb. So I can really use the faders to mix and match the perfect reverb sound for my mix. Obviously this trick works for delays as well, for modulation and all kinds of effects. So really this is a really clever technique to uh, get multiple effects out of one send. So the next big thing we came up with is to give you a whole library of audio effect channel strips you can use for easy mixing. And the benefit of using those is usually if you build, let's say, your vocal chain, you load plugin by plugin and you need to browse through eight different plugins until you get your whole chain. With our system, you can simply select, let's say, a preset called lead vocal and it automatically loads the whole chain for you. Let me show you how it works. So, as I said, example on the lead vocals, I want some processing here. So what I do is I go to user library and once you installed the template and the presets, here's a folder called Mix Temple Pro. So there I can just simply browse to vocals, lead vocals, and now I can select the manufacturer. So for example, if I'm using Waves plugins, I can simply go to Lead Vocals Classic and load it with double click or drag and drop it. And you can see with one simple click, I have the whole chain set up, every plugin is loaded, and I can just show you quickly what I did here on the Lead Vocals. So we're starting with a deesser, then we might want to use a limiter or not, it's bypassed here. Then we go into our foundation processing of the lead vocal, which is our Pultec MEQ into a Fairchild compressor. Then we use our SSL channel into our blue stripe compressor for attitude, and then we round it off with another Pultec EQP processing for fine tuning the top end and the low end. So, and it's that easy with every other preset as well. We have something for drums, for pianos, for synths. So that's a really easy system to, to mix. And obviously, you can, if you don't like the chain, you can simply delete it or you can say, okay, maybe I want to use just Ableton plugins. So I use the upfront lead vocal pro preset and here we go. Just the Ableton stock plugins gives you a great preset to start your mixing. 
Also included in Mix Sample Pro is the plugin Halls of Fame, which is a reverb plugin that gives you access to all the classic reverbs of the last 40 years. Uh, we use this actually on our multiple reverb returns and this is how it looks. So on the first view you can see you, you get an EQ for EQing your reverb, a damping which is basically a very soft and gentle EQ, input and output control, you can trim the start of the reverb, you can cut off the end, you can add pre-delay and you can adjust attack and release. And how this plugin works is it comes again with a library which is called the Halls of Fame Mark Mozart edition. And this library includes impulse responses of some serious classics. So we get some presets of the Brickasti M7, we get some more vintage EMT plate reverbs, some Lexicon 960 and 480 presets, and to round it off, a QRS, which is a quite a dark, quite a dark reverb. Um, and we have one preset called Cathedral, which is just fantastic, like four seconds of reverb. All these reverbs are coming in 96K sample rate and true stereo, which is just an astonishing quality. So this was the quick overview over the new Mix Sample Pro for Ableton. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any further questions, let us know. We are happy to answer. And um, yeah, as you can see, this is a very useful system. Um, I'm using it myself too, um, just because we actually built it for ourselves. And uh, it's really what we are using daily for our mixes, for even for, our, for my mastering sessions, for my STEM mastering sessions. Um, I'm using a modified version of this template and it just makes mixing and mastering so much easier.